Your credit report is going to track how often you pay your bills, how much money you're putting down on them, and the extent of the debt that you have. It's pretty much just a report that follows your financial history. Now, different companies, different creditors, different lending agencies, different credit card holders, before they give you a line of credit or before they offer you money to spend, they're going to look at your credit score. Your credit score is calculated by this equation that different companies use that look at the information on your credit report. So your credit report will be used as an input to determine your credit score. They're two different things, but they rely on each other. Now, the credit score. The credit score is what's going to be used to give your interest rate with a credit card. Depending on how high your score is, is going to determine if you're worthy of making your payments on time, if you're reliable, if you're going to pay the bill off, and what interest rate they're going to charge you. Naturally, the higher your credit score, you're going to get a better interest rate or a lower interest rate. Lower interest rates are good because that's less of a penalty that you'll have to pay. So for example, if I have $100 a month that I spend on my credit card and I have a 10% interest rate, then if I don't pay that bill off before the due date, then I'm going to have to pay $110 because of the interest that's charged on that purchase. Now, if my interest rate was 20%, I'd have to pay $120 when I didn't pay my bill before the due date. That's how the interest works. So you want to have a lower interest rate with your credit card so that if you don't pay your bill before the billing period is over with, you can have a lower amount that you're subject to interest. All right.